Hey guys, I've never done a get ready with me video, so I wanted to do that with my makeup routine. I have been trying a few new products um, right here. This is my go-to by The Ordinary. It's just hyaluronic acid to prep my skin. And then I was using the Kosas, I'm not sure if I said that right, concealer. I love this one. We're gonna go on to the technique. I have been doing this where I line my, or outline my brows first instead of filling them in. Highlights my natural shape and then I can go in and fill in correctly where I need to. This method is way easier than the one I was used to. And then I'm just patting it down real quick. I also like to feather the product outwards so that way it keeps the coverage closest to the brow but also helps us achieve that natural look that I'm going for. And here I am filling it in. I didn't show the product on the screen but I was using the Anastasia Brow Powder Palette. I think it's available only at Ulta but it is so clutch. I'm just taking the most of my product and applying it first at the tail of my brow so that way it is the most defined area and then as I make my way to the center of my face on my brow it'll lighten up on the brush and give a more natural ombre effect. This palette is super convenient and beginner friendly because you can build up the color. Now I'm going back in with that new concealer that I'm trying underneath my eyes and also on the corners of my mouth to highlight my natural lip shape. And I love blending with my finger because it keeps the product warm and spreadable, so I'm just doing that underneath both of my eyes, but also doubling down with a beauty blender that's dry. And here I'm using their Real Magnetic by Benefit. There was a mini kit at Sephora that this brand was selling that had three different mascaras and I loved how this one gave like a wet look. Next, I'm gonna go in with foundation and use the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This one gives in every way. It is the only one that I have found that doesn't make me break out, that can build to full coverage, still gives me a glow and has clean ingredients. I've been using it for about three years now. So I have a method that I use where I start at the chin and neck area. So that way as I blend downwards, I'm able to cover my whole neck with the product and also get behind my ears and on top of my ears as well. My geography teacher gave me that tip in eighth grade and it was the best tip towards keeping a well-blended look. So shout out to her. And then I carry the rest of the foundation upwards and I just pat it in and feather it kind of like I did with my concealer. My hands are warm so it's really spreading out the foundation and I'm just kind of doing it as if I was putting moisturizer on my face. I feel like using my hands and fingers really help press the product into my skin and give it that natural look. And then I still finish off with a beauty blender just to make sure that it's completely blended. Then I'm going in with this blush that I got from my March Ipsy bag and it's really light pink. It looks nice with my bronzer that I like to mix in with. This is that bronzer I was talking about, it's by Mario. And I usually apply that where I would get hit by the sun on my face, like where I usually first see color. And ever since I applied that tip, it really has elevated my makeup look. I also put it on top of my blush just to warm up the color a little bit and really get that sun-kissed look. I also think it adds extra cuteness when I add a little bit onto my nose, just that pink color and bronze, it's really cute. Next, I'm going in with the lip liner shade Ever by NYX. I've been using it for 10 plus years and I love either using it just as a liner, sometimes I use it to cover my entire lip, which is the case today. I think that it just makes it look more fuller. I don't know if it's an illusion, but it stays serving. Remember when I outlined my lips? So this really helps in this step to make that color pop and also make the edges look sharp. Lastly, I'm gonna go in and just add little areas of the contour onto my nose so that I can create a shape that I'm cool with. Then we just blend away until we're happy. I also like to add just one little line of concealer on the bridge of my nose to just highlight the area that I'm gonna put highlight on and also to really pronounce that shape. Adding highlight to all those areas where the light would be on my face. I put it on the bridge of my nose and then in the corners of my eyes and it just underneath my brows completes the look. I love it so much. And lately I've also been brushing it just up above on my cheekbones and 
and I also add it above my lip for just a little bit more radiance. If I don't have setting spray, this is the last step to complete my everyday makeup routine and I'm so happy that I finally got around to recording this and it was so much fun to make. Let me know if there's any styles or products that I should try and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.